Welcome back to the guide, everybody. Top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning. <clears throat> Today, friends, we are really gonna get down to it. By the end of today's first farming episode, we're gonna have a beautiful, a magnificent farm. We're gonna talk the basics to farming, a little bit about making them bigger, and the secretly overpowered food. Ah, sun is shining, things are beaming, the weather is clear today. Oh, this, this is gonna be a great episode. Now, before we crack down to it today, two things. I saw a couple questions about what day it is now. It's currently day 16. I think number two, oh boy, I went ahead and made a luxurious upgrade to the house here. You go ahead and walk in, close the door, slowly turn. Everything looks the same so far. It's the same, it's the same, it's the same. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's romantic. It's on fire and that's a clean counter. <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. That's very wonderful. Shower review with compliments on that down below. Best comment wins. Today's like goal is going to be 7,000 again. <laughs> let's do it, friends. All right, so let's get a little bit uh, nostalgic for a minute here. Last episode, the great, wonderful exploring episode. When we went out and found that beautiful mountain, when we went out and made those leather boots, when we went out and found that iron, so much ironable stack, actually. I also stumbled upon this. Ah, <sighs> berries, berries, berries. Minecraft is a game about mining, it's a game about crafting, but also for me, it's definitely a game about farming. Today, my friends, we're going to build not only the biggest farm you've ever seen in your whole life, yeah, yeah, that's right, biggest farm ever, but also, we're gonna upgrade the food situation big time, all thanks to these bushes right over here. All I need to do is <laughs> not do that, and to collect every single berry here. The more we can start with, the better this is gonna make it. If you're newer to Minecraft, well, I got great news for you. Farming, it's a gigantic part of this game. From plants to mobs to items, there are so many different things inside of Minecraft. And even better, almost all of those things can be farmed in some way. Just like mining and crafting, farming is a major sector of this game's community. If you like the idea of farming, you're on the right channel. Not gonna lie, I know it was hardly in the series at all, but I kind of can't believe we haven't picked up a single seed to this point, I'm pretty sure, and definitely, absolutely haven't built a single farm. Our very first farm in this world, technically speaking, is going to be this little spot right here. That berry, that berry, that berry, that berry, and... That... Those berries, right there. Those. For the entire duration of today's episode, the plan is pretty simple. We will stand right here with this dramatic camera, like cinematic thing, and watch these berries grow up. Believe it or not, sweet berries are one of the easiest things to farm in Minecraft. Oh, <laughs> look, it did it, it did it. Now to maybe make our process a little bit quicker today, or kill time while I'm waiting here, we'll swim around in the river and try our luck at Sweet Sweet Sand. What is this, an imposter? What are you doing inside of my river? No, 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 no. We have to take you out. Wait, you know what? I think this is actually going to be the... This might actually be the... <laughs> I finally did it. I finally did it. After all this time. Yeah, that's all thanks to this wonderful beauty we got in episode one. Is what I was telling you about. You avoid the bad guys until you don't want to. And just like that, after looking at that bed for a second, the farm is already ready to go. Look at this thing. This is so easy. Now, unfortunately, not every farm in Minecraft is that easy. But for today, we don't really need to worry about that. So technically speaking, just like that, me and you together, we've built our very first farm inside of this world. To farm sweet berries, essentially, all you need to do is place them down on the ground, give them time, let them grow up, and then harvest them. That's it. That's literally all there is to it. That's why I love these things, and they're so easy to farm early game. But if we left that farm so small, productivity would be pretty low. <sighs> or maybe not, maybe it wouldn't be. But it would definitely be hard to take advantage of these things and use them for their other great uses too. So, we need to expand, my friends. Hey, yo, 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 hold up, hold up. Really quick, now that we have a little bit of a fancier wood type, I would like a doormat here. A little build hack while the salmon cooks up for us. Throw this in the crafting table, go like that. You get pressure plates. Take the pressure plate, drop it in front of the door, and it's an automatic door. At least when you walk inside or outside. It'll close always. Like, check this out. Oh, it's so much easier. I don't need to stop and close the door. It just works. It does it for me. So different items in Minecraft have different requirements to be farmed. We'll talk about those requirements as we start to farm everything. And for example, sugarcane. It's going to need a block that it can be planted on, and it's going to need water to be farmed. 
Sweet Berry. All we really need is a block. And I think maybe, like, technically speaking, a little bit of light. It can't be in complete darkness, but but that's easy. We just won't build it in a dark room. Now, uh, thinking of gigantic, wonderful, world record Sweet Berry Farm, I think I already found the perfect piece of land. Starter House is right over there. I would like to make this farm nice and close to the starter house, and I would also like to make this farm pretty big. To make it pretty big, it needs to be on a plot of land that'll be relatively easy to work with, and speaking of that, look at this area right over here. This area of land in between what we'll call a starter cave and I guess sky needle over here is pretty flat. Like walking around on this layer right here, if I wanted to turn this into a big farm, I think all I would need to do, other than take out all the trees, is dig out a couple tiny hills one block tall. That is like literally the easiest thing in the world. And so, my berries over here are going crazy. And so, back over at the rightful odor of this world, we need our very first shovel of the world. And so, without further delay, it's time we go ahead and get ourselves to a little work. Let's do this. Hey, 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 hold up, hold up. Look at this, right here, here it is. The first seat, maybe. And so, just a tiny bit of time, a little bit of hard work, sweating, tears later, I've just about done it. This whole area is basically done, other than this puny little hill in the middle. See, I think this project is going to set us up for success long term. One of the really, really nice things about taking on this uh, relatively large project so early on is going to be all of the resources that we've gotten. Look at this. Take a seat first because the shocking amount of wood inside of this inventory and also a lot of dirt too. If we got a terraform, make a new hill, make a new like island in the middle of the river there. Oh, it's, it's not a problem. I'm the guy. You go ahead and call me up. For our starter plot of land here today, I think something like this is going to look pretty good. I went ahead and left two beautifully giant tall trees in here, but everything else is gone and it's flat. Heading back over to home sweet home here, I can guarantee you, because this farm has been loaded in, which is something we'll talk about in a minute. Oh, look at it. Yes, because it's been loaded in, this farm is basically fully ready to go. All of this has shown me is, oh man, this new farm is going to be amazing for berries. And with that, the perfect segue. Speaking of amazing, I personally will call the starter house pretty amazing, but uh, that's beside the point. The actual point here is the starter humble cabin. It needs a name. I left a spot on the sign right here in this line for some kind of name. And that's your job. Down below here in the comments, I am looking for simply the best, most fitting name ever for the starter house. It could be a name, it could just be a word, it could even be your favorite type of vegetable, I don't care. Give me a good name down in the comments below. The sweet berries are one of the best things to farm early game because, well, because there's almost nothing to it. All we really need is a flat open piece of land to set up a farm for this stuff. Now, uh, what I want to think I want to do here is try and find the approximate middle. Uh, I'm going to guess that maybe the middle of this area is like approximately right there. That feels like it would be kind of right. Like, eh, it kind of looks like the middle, right? Of this. Eh, yeah, maybe. To set the tone, get the vibe right for the middle of this farm, what I think I want to do here, design-wise, is put a crafting table on the ground. Then we can go ahead and take our shovel and use the shovel on the ground to create path blocks. What I want to do with this farm is make a gigantic square of a sweet berry farm. For this farm, to make sure it's up and running perfectly, I lied. There's not just one requirement. There's kind of like two requirements. Not only are we going to need somewhere to actually plant the sweet berries and the berries themselves, but we're also going to need this farm to be loaded in. The farm loading and in relation unloading is kind of a relatively complex Minecraft mechanic. We'll use my tutorial world here because it's got a lot of farms. You see that farm over there with the villagers inside of it? If I were to move far enough away from that farm, the villagers would lock up. They'd freeze. Now all of that farm magic on Java Edition is basically controlled by one toggle simulation distance right here in simple terms the higher this toggle is the farther i can be away from my farm for it to actually work but the lower i put this toggle the better the performance will be so if you're lagging you will go to like five by default i think the setting is going to be like 12 nowadays 12 it means i can go up to 12 chunks away from this thing and it will still be loaded in which means it can run the food can grow the villagers can move the golems can can apparently spawn <laughs> even though they're definitely not meant to there 
back inside of our world here, all of that means that we want to build this farm somewhere relatively close to where we will usually be. If we're close enough to wherever we decide to plant these sweet berries, they'll stay loaded in. And if they stay loaded in, they'll be able to grow up, then we can harvest them and continue the cycle forever. The perfect example for everything that I'm talking about right now is actually back over at the starter house. We're a little bit of a ways away from the starter house, but definitely not like 12 chunks away. Oh yeah, yeah, by the way, a chunk is a 16 by 16 block area. Oh man, we got a lot to catch up on. <laughs> Anyways, because it wasn't too far away from this farm, as you can see over here, it's already grown a couple more berries. Back over at our farm, look at this stuff, it's going so well. And now me, my friends, I am a man of large scale dreams. I would like this farm to be as big as possible. The bigger we build this farm, the more berries I can harvest from this farm. The more berries I can harvest from this farm, well, the more berries that I will have from this farm. And oh my gosh, beautiful. The very first berry grows right in the middle here too. Ooh, it's so great. That sweet berry, sweet, ooh, sweet berry. That may be a problem with this farm, but I don't care. You see, sweet berries are so easy to farm, but they can also be a little bit dangerous if you're not careful. When a sweet berry bush is growing up, you can move into it. You just like slow down a little bit. However, once it's fully grown up, berries on the bush or not, if you move into it, it's a little bit thorny and spiky. It'll deal a tiny bit of damage and actually take away the durability on your armor. I gotta lose those. Now, one of the easiest ways to get around this whole damage thing is being careful. One of the other easiest ways is by putting a block on top of it or a slab or literally anything. With a block right there, I actually can't walk on top of it. It's perfect. It's very perfect. However, for today's farm, we're going to go ahead and keep it simple. We'll just be careful. Now, aesthetics, aesthetics, aesthetics. We got a little bit of sweet berries planted in here, but we also have cherries. Last episode, we found berries. Last episode, we found cherries. That's right, it's time. The very first cherry wood build of the entire world. What I think I want to do is uh, build it with cherry logs. It looks so nice. And then maybe I can come in here and, and strip these logs. I think I like that pink tone a little bit more. Then, I think what I want to do is come in and pull like, maybe like a million and a half fences in between all of this and make like a fancy garden thing in the middle. Now, in order to make this build feel nice and grand here today, what I think we want to do is add some height to it. I think maybe five blocks tall would be pretty good. Then, essentially, all I need to do is come in here with fences and connect everything. Sure, sure, it will be a little bit expensive and absolutely going to need to farm more cherry trees, but that's no big deal. See, I think, personally, by loading this thing up with a ton of fences just all over him, this is going to make it look really, really simple, but also, like, kind of fire and romantic and maybe even a little bit beautiful in the middle, too. I could even do, like, a cool swoop down. Ooh. Hey, but hold up, hold up. New farm design just dropped. So with this berry farm here, we need to leave rows in between each plant so I can walk in here and carefully harvest everything. I've already been finding that these rows are a little bit thin. To make it easier on me so I can like turn in here and continue to reach all the berries and get through, we'll leave a nice wide curve. It'll make a circular design and I think it'll look pretty cool. Now berry production at first, it'll be a little bit slow while we wait for the berries to catch up. And that's exactly why I've gone ahead and preserved the environment. I preserve the environment around us here so I can come back over to it and harvest the berries. And actually over here, you can see that some of the berries haven't grown up and that's probably because maybe it hasn't been loaded in the whole time. While I'm around over at the house, 100% this is loaded in, but while I'm over at Waddle's sweet berry farm, it's probably not. Getting all the berries for this farm, it will be a little bit of a waiting game, but thankfully, when you harvest a berry plant, you don't just get one every time. Sometimes you get like two or three. That'll speed it up a little bit more. With the vision planned out and laid out for this farm, I think it is time that we hunker down and get a little bit more work done. I'm going to chop these trees, I'm going to plant those berries, and I'm going to build this build. You better believe it. Hey everybody, I'm back. Did you miss me? While we work through this fun little time lapse here today, I would like to talk about one of the most amazing experiences that I've ever had in my entire life. And that's not even like a dramatic overstatement or anything like that. <laughs> if you follow my Twitter or my Instagram, then you know that a couple weeks ago, I saw the, the most amazing concert that I've ever seen in my life. Now, ladies, gentlemen, and everybody, today's comment of the day is all about the absolutely fire Taylor Swift concert that I saw. So if you know me, then you remember I'm a big fan of the music. Almost any music in the world, I love it. Taylor Swift music in the world, I'll admit it. I'm not afraid to admit it. I absolutely love it. 
Simply put, if you've never listened to All Too Well 10 minute version on a long car drive in silence and just studied those lyrics word by word, syllable by syllable, then you've, you've never even really lived. You need to go do that. Relatively ish, recently, I bought a newfound love and passion, and that's gotta be going to concerts. At this point, I've been to a good handful of concerts, but my friend, I have never, not once, been to a concert like that. Let me tell you, this woman went on stage and performed for like three and a half hours straight. Banger after banger, oh, it was fire. I love it, my wife love it, her sister love it. Ooh, it was so good. But listen, listen, it gets even better. Not only was the concert like so good, but the vibes and stuff, the crowd, it was so nice, dude. If you didn't know, the vibe with this whole Eras tour is everybody's in these fire fits, and it's like crazy. Jordan made this shirt, and so many people were loving it. It was great. Also, in the concert, like the dancing, it was great. The girl next to me was so nice, and that's uh, just a 10 out of 10 concert. Absolutely. In fact, I want to raise that to 11 out of 10, if that's allowed. Well, 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 look who has crawled into our domain right as I was finishing the build, too. What are you doing here, sir? Hmm, the wandering scammer. You, you, you. Hmm, you have an, an intriguing, the bright position. I cannot say. I cannot deny, but. <sighs> so, this little buddy right here is known as the wandering trader. The wandering trader is a Minecraft mob that, that does mob things. One terrible thing about the wandering trader is if you're not careful, it will actually walk into your sweet berry farm and steal all of your berries. The only way to safely dispose of this guy is to show him how the sweet berry bush... How, show him how it really is. Also, I mean, look at this guy. Who does he think he is dragging his precious pets through the sweet berry plants and hurting them? Listen, friend. How do you like the berries now? How do you like them now, huh? What, what do you, you think? think? Eat the berry. Eat the berry. That's what I thought. Oh, no. Oh, oh. I pushed it too hard, too far. Now all I have is these precious llamas. So, friends, how's the build going? Oh, it's absolutely going. I had a very square pergola just a second ago. You shouldn't have seen it. And, and that's why you didn't. So, I came back in and I modified the build a little bit. And I tried to make it look a little bit better. I think it's, I think it's shaping up. As for the sweet berries themselves, they're inside of this farm now all the way. I think I'm going to plant them out to this spot right here. Which means maybe I come back in and, like, decorate up the riverfront a little bit. That could be nice. I did a little bit of calculations, and of course, for Miss Swift herself. At this farm, it is 13 berry bushes long on one side, 13 on the other. That's going to equal 26. Plus the three in the middle, that's 29. This is almost a 30 by 30 farm on day four. I'm kind of tempted to make a shorefront here, a river line of like cherry blossom trees, but I, I don't know. I can't, is it, I feel like that might be random. It's safe to say that so far today, <laughs> it's been going so well. I'm so happy with this. Add a couple of trapdoor touches right there and then absolutely come back in here with a little bit of light. Now, you know, my hopes and dreams one day would be that beautiful looking iron lanterns in here, but we just don't have that position quite yet. Unfortunately, for now, we'll have to put plain old torches, but I mean, I don't know. I feel like to add to the aesthetic right there. It's a simple, a humble pergola at the center of Waddle's Sweet Berry Farm. I don't know. I, I think it fits the vibe. I think it's nice. Now, pretty much, the very final thing that we're going to need to put on today's build here is some kind of entrance thing, something at the front. This is what I was thinking. Maybe we make like a grand entrance, a proper fence line along the front of the build. Maybe what we could do is do like sections of, I don't know, like five or something like that, go up and then run it over again. At the side of this thing, all I think I'm going to do is kind of just, well, to be honest, kind of just end it. I don't know if I have to worry about running a fence line all the way to the back of the build because, well, actually, because it's pretty simple. You see, my friend, I would like to save room for expansion. If in the future, any time I would like to come in here and expand this thing, all I need to do is come over and push it out to the side, push it back, and push it to the other side. Nice and simple, just like that. With this build here today, I was a little bit strategic. We ended with this nice long row right here, and it's nice and straight. By not putting a fence on the side, if I need to harvest this thing and, like, need berries quick and safe and easy, all I need to do is walk on the outside of this thing. Then I can carefully walk down this middle row and pick anything that went over into the middle. This log is very, very nice, but oh boy, look at how good it looks when I strip it. We 100% strip those logs. That looks so good. I can't lie, I'm a little bit obsessed with these cherry leaves, so absolutely, we add a couple of these in out front to decorate it too. 
It will be very nice to come back in eventually and add plants out front. Now, the further we get in our world here together, the fancier the builds will get. This is all just the start here. I think to maybe make it look a little bit nicer, we'll sprinkle in some sweet berry bushes out front of it. It'll look nice, but if it was late game, or at least a little bit later on, I'd be throwing coarse dirt there. I'd be putting stone there. We actually haven't properly talked about detailing builds and making them look beautiful and finished yet, but it's all in the details. Now, speaking of the details, we're going to add a mysterious part of the build to the build today to finish it all off. For this part of the build, which is going to be pretty simple for now and very, very mysterious, I was thinking we'll need a little bit of campfires here. What I pictured we could do, this place said there, then do maybe a campfire, a campfire, and a campfire, just like that. Then what I'm going to go ahead and do is smash the campfires out with a shovel. That'll look pretty good. The shoreline right here, 100% I can push it out and hey, hey, look at these flowers. My flower friends, you're coming with me. We repurpose you right over into the build right here. Oh, it looks so much better already. We'll need a couple trap doors for the front of the build and then a composter. So wrapping things up nice and neatly here today. Sweet berries are great for a lot of different reasons, including, well, including bone meal. Aside from being an amazing source of food early game, the sweet berries are great for a couple other things, including bone meal and actually including easy profit too. Now, the other great uses for sweet berries, that's definitely something we're going to dive into a whole lot more later on in the series. But for today, just know we built this farm and now we have tons of food. We also have a decent source of bone meal. Anytime I might need a little bit of bone meal for whatever, I can come over here and just get it. To wrap up our build for today's episode, where we're at is back to nature. What I'm going to go ahead and do is refill in the little bit of forest that I actually didn't even need to pull out. We'll plant some nice and tall oak trees in here and a couple birch trees too. The absolute basics to farming, our very first farm, and the secretly overpowered early game food. Early on, if you can find sweet berries, definitely get sweet berries. These things are so easy to farm and they grow so fast. They're also going to end up being pretty useful for us later on down the line and south of this world. That's all I got for you today, friends. Let me know what you think about the build down below. Smash like and subscribe. Remember to patrons get early access to the episodes if you're loving them and you can't wait for the next one. And speaking of patrons, a big shout out to them. Arlo, aka Bobby, MinecraftMojo.com, AppMarie23, CK, Michael H, and the Great Vegeta. It's been me, Waddles, the Sweet Berries Forever. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Oh, and I almost forgot how could I. The world seat. I saw a couple of right guesses. It's D's. Just like it is on screen. <clears throat> yeah, but anyways, more on that next episode. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.